guys, Shaggy here, Ray, yay, yay, G Unit. Welcome to another Black Ops 2 video, and this is not a gameplay. I wanted to try something different, and I don't usually do this, but uh, if you want to see more of this, just let me know in the comments below. Basically, I want to show you guys how I successfully rush and how to rush, in other words, and how to do it properly. And you know, there's a lot of people out there doing similar kind of videos like this. This is a custom lobby, by the way. I made this myself. Just want to show you how I successfully play on this map so I'll be trying to do it for every map so uh, if you're interested uh, definitely let me know you know there's youtubers out there doing similar things to this and what I'm trying to say is that they're promoting their playstyle which in my opinion is sort of bad for the community in general which is you know head glitching promoting head glitching promoting camping all these spots and whatnot and it's annoying because when I play I go against these kind of players and I think they're bad you get me they're bad because they're shooting at me I'm trying to rush at them and to be successful, it's much more tougher to be a rusher than a sort of, oh, clever play, smart play. Like, shut the fuck up, right? Let's see. Let me tell you right now, right? Anyway, just all right, calm down. I right, calm down. Wait a second. All right, so you're playing. Okay. Right? So and let's get started. Let's get started, all right? So let's say you're a dude spawning here. Uh, domination. This is. I'm talking specifically here for ground war games. So you either got team deathmatch, kill confirmed. Or just domination, right? So ground war 99. Let's get that mindset here. So just imagine I've got eight other players next to me all around this nice car and this nice two cars here as well, right? So we're all spawning. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, what do you do? All right, what I religiously do in this map, I've got two options. I either go to the left towards B or I go straight down the middle and take the risk. I never, ever go there. I never go there. Do you know why I never go there? Because there's no reason to do that. Because by the time you take the route around that, Nice concrete wall with the flowers around and the lights and shit. Did you guys know, by the way, that these lights here slow you down? But anyway, that's not the point because that's water. So yeah, so yeah, that whole the whole journey that you're turning around is a waste of time. That's not the point of rushing. The point of rushing, just get it straight. The point of rushing is you need to get to the other side as fast as possible before your teammates or anybody is ahead of you. You gotta make sure you are ahead of your teammates. So let me give you this first tip, right? So your cap and C. Don't just stand there. Go to the maximum point to where you can see. So you, you're basically right there. This is the maximum point, and you can just slightly, you know, just slide, slightly slide a bit, and you're still capping it. So imagine you capped it, and right as I'm capping it right now, bang! You're moving. You're moving. You're moving. Move. Okay. Anyway, let's stop right there. Let's, let's explain this bit. So once you're moving, you should be the first one ahead of any all of your teammates. That should be it. I know that some dudes might go to the left, you know, around the other side through B. Let them go, alright? Let them go, let them do their thing. But if you're going through the middle first, I want to talk a bit about the middle. So you're going up the stairs, you're first one ahead of your teammates. What what are the risks now? So let me tell you, talk about the risks here. I'm pretty sure majority of them know this, but if you take your head out now, you're gonna probably get war banged through right here. You're gonna probably get war banged and you're gonna like, you're dead, right? You're dead. So that that is one of the risks. But if you avoid that, as you're coming around here, I'll definitely say shift to the left. Never just do this, never do that. That is not safe. Shift to the left like this, and then once you get to this bit, there's another risk coming along once again getting war banged as you're just about to turn or you're going to get shot as you turn like this. So what I would recommend is as you're turning around here, put your head down and go like this. And this way, the tree is going to block you in a way and just as you turn like this, they won't see you. Trust me, I've never, I've never ever been killed like that. If sometimes, you know, I try this, I try to just go normally casually, I get killed by target finders, snipers, but when I do this, it's so easy. Like they can't, they can't kill me because I got this tree in the way. You got this rock here. I got this here, and then just as I turn, I got my head up. I look through, look at in between this gap and this tree. I see a nice open window. These guys might have spotted me trying to come up, like spray them, kill them easily. That's job done. But sometimes that might not come out. So you're free. You're open. You got all this space, and you see your teammates back there, and they be like, "Oh no, I'm gonna die." They're, they're standing there like derps. I mean, this is, I'm talking about domination here, so, you know, this is all around, like, team left, match, kill, confirm, domination. You now, as I've said, so now you've got two options. This is all just for the start of the game, right? I'm just going to explain this quickly for the start of the game, and after that, you should get your score streaks, and you should be well off to get in a good gameplay. So, you've got B flag here, and you've got there, and you've got two options. You can either go and help your teammates to cap B, but by the time, you know, your teammates might have capped it already, because, it, you know, if you start on the seaside, you, you you have the advantage to get B, because it takes time for A people to come around and get A. So what happens usually, what I do, I tend to go for B this way, and when I, when I cap it, number one tip, guys, you go prone, behind this rock, and you can shift to your left as much as you want. Just look at this. Look how far you can go, like, to this point. And this way, you won't get shot by dudes there, because usually people come out from there, and you probably get killed as a capping it like this. So make sure you go right, down as possible so they can't see your head and this way you're gonna get a perfect capture kill without getting shot by dudes here because you know 
people usually come down here some dudes are always here trying to shoot you while they're capping b right like head glitching like fuckers and some some dudes are here like throwing stuns and smokes and whatnot and as you're capping b you're, you're not seen you're not seen only way you can die by capping like this is from one of the snipers up there in that window so you know once again you got to take those risk if you want to play objective so as i've captured this what i always tend to do is come up run up straight here spray dudes over here and now i always got to make sure there's no one inside this window once i've got this covered it's all good take a bit of cover here no one's there so you run you run you got two options what do you do okay let go for here I tell them sometimes go for there, so I always take the risk, go for it. I always go to the right, check the room first, check the room first. If no one's there, the room's clear, jump out from here. Alright, so now we're going through the typical sniper spot, which is this spot. Usually not, not many people there to start the game, and then I go for A. This is how I do it. Just follow that route, and I get A. And this is how I get cap kills. Dudes spawn there, dudes come through that window, if they, and dudes come through here. So you just gotta keep running around, this is what sensitivity is important. So now that I've capped A, just imagine I capped A, and then we go all the way around this side this way. This is just the natural thing for you. I'm doing this as I play every game in Raid. I just do this, and I come up here, and there's dudes always here. Always here looking through here, like this. I don't always go there, I look through this side as well. And then once you go, your back covered, you're safe to go this way. And then I go through here, and there's a lot of campers in this place. The dude's head glitching over here. I kill that dude. And there's central guns, the campers here. I mean, obviously this doesn't happen all the time, but this is sort of the religiously, I just choose these paths. And it always works for me. So anyway, that's that's how I rush at, uh, you know, towards, towards flag B and A. Right, so welcome back. And we're back at C again. So I showed you how I rush towards flag A from going through the middle and we did it safe and sound so now we've capped C and we're running this way and what I do I don't I don't go through that way I go through this way stick my head down and I'm running go prone look up check if anyone's there look down again and then come here jump look down and cap B like that you're safe you're safe it's only as I said the dudes from there or there which what the chances of that is very low so if you got B safe now and what I do now is that Every time I seem to go come through this door, I tend to just always turn to my right for some reason. It's just something that happens in my mind. I turn to the right, I know there's all, obviously at the start of the game there's dudes there, always in that room. So what I do, jump, prone, stick my head out, bang, 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 jump and go shoot, 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 shoot. I'm, I ran out of ammunition in this, but I shoot these guys here and then check here, reload, come in this room, jump once again into the window and then I do my usual thing, this time doing it this routine and capping A and I get my flag kills, all right? That's the way to do it if you're going to go towards the left side. Try this out, guys, really do try it out. And trust me, you you will get some sort of, I mean, I'm not telling you that you won't die, but you will die for certain, but it will be a very minimal chance if you do it this way. It's picking your correct routes, and the way I do it, it seems to work for me, and that's the way I'm successful when I play this map. So anyway, this is all from the start of the game. After this, you know, if you're successful from doing this, you pretty much should have your score streaks up by then. But anyway, let's say for example, you're starting on this side now. And, you know, can't down whatever. You're going for A, same shit. Go to the, towards the, you know, furthest point. You're capping right here. Right here, just in between this box here. And you're about to go. And what I do is when I cap A, I go. I go for the left. I always go for the left for some reason. This always works. As I come through here, Jump down a rock, there's gonna be dudes there, there, but the chances of that is very minimal if you go as quickly as possible. They won't be able to see you as soon as you hide down here and you run, you just hide, you just run immediately up the stairs and they won't be able to see you. By the time they reach there, like, you know, just by the time they tr go into the head glitch spots, you, you would have run up the stairs and they couldn't have seen you. So, you know, definitely use lightweight for that. That's the reason why I use lightweight these days. And then as soon as you turn around the corner, nobody should, de should be there for domination. Uh, but for team deathmatch and kill confirmed there should be players there. So what I do I get myself ready I'm ADS in around the corner like this like basically like this, you know, just ADS in the, not ADS in around the corner But like just right here I a ADS in and I just go spray 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 One time I got a squad spray like that in the start pick up all the tags if it's kill confirmed domination Nobody should be there if they're there then they're not playing the objective But the, you know worst case scenario you're going against the lobby full of derps anyway, so just just be prepared for that and uh, what I do once I come in I always come into this room I never go for the C flag I always come into the room there's dudes sitting there head glitching at uh, this side so I take them out there's always a bouncy belly here careful with that dudes coming up this wind this door as well so you gotta be careful with that so as I turn in just shoot a shoot there look to my left immediately after I go up and I see campers in this room yet again and people capping B so you can easily pick them up from the back and I jump out this window 
go crouch mode, reload here, and I see dudes coming into this door once again like derps. So I'll just kill them from the side, go into C from the back, like here. And so we see dudes spawning here, running up the middle like derps. So what I tend to do, take advantage of that and abuse the system yet again, cap in C and getting cap kills 200, 200. And they'll tend to be spawning over here just behind that to head glitch and kill them there, which is another 200 points. And that way I get my Blackbird or my Swarms or whatnot. And this is the way I rush and raid at the start of the games. And you know, follow these routes and I'm, I'm guarantee you, you'll be successful than the way you played before. Because I'm showing this, I'm telling you guys this from experience. I'm not telling you just because, oh, it's in my mind and I'm just blabbering out words. But this is how you can rush successfully. And for some reason, Oh, score limit reached. It's funny. So, for some reason, when I start on the other side, so it's, uh, when I start at A side, I always pick the same route. Whereas on the C side, I've got two options. So, really, play around with that. Let me know what you think. If this helped you guys at any sort of way, let's break the video. And I'll see you guys soon with more like this. If you want more like this, let me know in the comments below. Check it here. Sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah. Oh, I use my head, I use my brain to make sure that I come back because. I mean, you've got this channel with 106,000 subscribers. Why would you just leave like that? You know, that's probably what you guys were probably would be saying to yourself right now. You know, it's just if you got a channel, why, why, you know, all these people out there that are making YouTube videos, wanting to get subscribers and struggling and what? It, it is, it's a tough time out there. It's a tough world. You know, a lot of people making YouTube videos nowadays, and I, I appreciate every single moment, man. Like Fisticuffs, give me a shout out yesterday. Jive Turkey, give me a shout out uh, last week, and you know. Without these guys, I, I would never be out there. I mean, especially Fisticuffs. He, oh my God, he gave me a shout out. I'm like, what the hell, man? Just give me a shout out. I'm